Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Hey, I want to kind of do this about an unfortunate situation I had at a family shoot, actually on Father's Day. Of uh, Some friends of mine, so, you know, I went ahead and did it, even though it was Father's Day, but they had family here and they wanted everybody, a picture of everybody and stuff. So, uh, I, I went and did the shoot. And I ended up with what you see here. Let me make that bigger. Um, a very disturbing magenta color cast. Let's see, can I swing my camera back around a little bit? And I, I of course, as like I say, downloaded the pictures, looking at them in Lightroom, and I'm like, okay, everything looks fine, but why is it, why do I have this magenta? Thing going on. I don't remember, I didn't remember anything in the house, uh, purple or magenta or anything that would have caused it. And so I had to work really hard <laughs> trying to remove this magenta. You say, well, in the tone curve, uh, I could uh, easily have uh, in the develop module, let me get it back up, went to the white balance and uh, I'm sorry, in the white balance moved the tent to get it out and I tried that and, and it still really wasn't getting it all out. What I ended up doing is having to come down into the uh, HSL, HSL and uh, clicking on the little thing here, uh, color picker and, and just going it and drawing it out uh, of, the, of the image and ended up with uh, something like that and that was kind of the best I can get it and to get the color cast out you kind of see if I go back to one of the uh, previous image the color cast was was tremendous so today I got to looking at this whole situation and trying to figure out okay what went wrong uh, even when I went by their house to deliver uh, their images I was looking around and trying to figure out what went wrong uh, of what did I do to cause that and I found out today what the issue was and I want to show that to you. We open this folder here of some test shots that I did. Uh, go over to the developer, go to the green ones. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And here we go. Here's what I came up. This is the uh, Monolite that I use, which is my uh, uh, Studio TTL 480. Very inexpensive Monolite. And here, um, I'm just doing a picture, each one, of what was on the Monolite when I did the shot. Uh, on this one, I was just using this diffuser that came with the Monolite. And... If we look at the next image, here's the colors that we get. A little bit of green and uh, it's kind of a funny magenta looking, slightly, very slight. But the green color cast is coming from the walls. If we go back here in this room, uh, they're painted this green color, which is not helping anything that I shoot in this room. But I rarely do anything here. Uh, this is usually on location. So a little bit of green color cast in this room. Uh, the next image here, this is where the culprit comes in. Uh, this is a Godox. It's a little elastic <laughs> shower cap type thing um, that I bought years ago. Years ago. Um, that you can fit over, cause you a little diffusion. And... You can almost see here a little bit of color cast happening. A little bit of magenta has sneaked into the image. I will go to the image from that and you can see the color cast kind of happening there. The magenta color cast has uh, kind of shown up. Matter of fact, I'll back up and I'll show you a comparison here between the two images. There's with this little bag thing on and we're going to pull in this image this is with 
just this little diffuser. And you see the magenta color cast has snuck into the image. We'll go to the next image here, and here's where it gets worse. What I was trying to do, and it's the first time I had uh, used this on this location, is I used this with, uh, if you notice here on the screen, an umbrella, a large umbrella. And if you look here, you can even see that the color cast, the magenta, has gotten even worse. I will uh, go to the next image here, and there it is. This is what caused a very bad magenta color cast on all the images. If I come back out of that and I'm going to compare that with that first image. You know that first image, like I said, is a little green. We got a color cast coming from the green walls in this room. Um, but this is the nastiness that I ended up with uh, with uh, both of these and I'll go back to this here real quick uh, not that image but um, yeah this one with the shower cap and the umbrella caused a serious issue that I spent hours trying to figure out how to clean up uh, another, here's one with just the umbrella. This is just the umbrella. And I'm noticing that in my images, the umbrella is giving off a, a slight magenta color cast. Now, this is the same umbrella, the umbrella only. But if we compare that, uh, let's compare the two here with, let me go to that image. There's the umbrella with, this is with, just with this diffuser, this diffuser here, the plastic one, and we still see it. Let's compare just the umbrella along with the umbrella and, and the shower cap. And that's where I really got in trouble, the umbrella and the shower cap. Um, here's another image here. I just kind of showed it. This is a different umbrella, a smaller one, and they look pretty much the same. The smaller one seems to have a little bit more magenta in it, but I just want to kind of show you guys that in case you run across a serious magenta color cast issue. Um, again, the best way I found to remove that, I won't get too deep into it, is to... Uh, come back into your your saturation here. Uh, I'm on the right here. Click on the little uh, adjustment dragging tool. Pull it in and see was it down or up? Kind of down. I think I had to work with several different ones. And you can see if you can see that right down at the bottom, it's it's got the magenta. It's only using moving the magenta slider. That's all the way down. If I go to the hue and I pull down on it, it's pulling the magenta slider again. Did I do it? Let's go to luminous, see what happens. Magenta slider again. Then we probably come up here to the tint, work the tint over. Um, don't fight if I hit the white balance here. Well, come on. Background is white. Let's try right here. And the tint's pushing way over to negative 23 into the green. So like I said, it ends up getting pretty nasty. Lighten the picture up a little bit. Trying to get that out. Uh, let's look at it before and after. Before, after. I do I did brighten it up. Let me take the brightness out so that's not causing a before, after, kind of got into a little green. But just wanted to show that to you guys. Hopefully that helps someone that might run into an issue with their modifiers. 
Um, I don't know whether it's because, well, I know that's a, that's an issue, or maybe I need to buy more expensive umbrellas, but uh, that could be an issue too. So that's something else I'd be looking into, and, and I'll do a test on that uh, maybe later on and see if that could be a issue, um, buying higher-end, higher-quality uh, umbrellas. But uh, that's it. And I will mention this. I did do a test with a bounce umbrella uh, with a white uh, covering, and it showed about the same as, as these other umbrellas here, uh, this magenta uh, uh, seeping into the picture, into the image. And, uh, of course, that image right there is from this umbrella. Uh, this is uh, uh, not the one I used there, but both of them come to be about the same. I'm going to hit reset here. I'm going to compare those two again. I'm going to show you that. Oops. Why did you do that? Reset. Okay. Show you these two. Here's... 15 and 12. So here's the large umbrella I used at the shoot and here's this is a um, Something studio a cheap little umbrella that I I have here and again magenta uh, If somebody has something, please post something below if you uh, know something that I don't know about umbrellas or modifiers and why I'm getting this magenta color, but uh, I Appreciate that. Hey y'all have a blessed day